and we have arrived. Hey, you all, and good evening. Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the West. More specifically, we are in Hollywood, California, and even more specifically than that, we are here at Universal Studios Hollywood. I hopped aboard a jet plane, flew across the country, and landed here in Southern California for Halloween Horror Nights, for some other Halloween events in uh, 2019. I came out here to Hollywood, visited my friend uh, Adam the Woo, who was living out here at the time, this was 2019, and um, he took me to all the great uh, haunts that occur here in Southern California during the Halloween season. We went to Horror Nights, went to a few other, a few others, and I said, I'm going to come here every year. Every year I'm gonna make it a point to come out here to Southern California for Halloween to enjoy all the magnificent haunts that they have here. 2020, it didn't happen because the world shut down. But ever since then, I have been consistent in getting out here every Halloween season to experience uh, Horror Nights as well as some other haunts. Uh, earlier this year, we went to Halloween Horror Nights in Florida, which now seems like it was a lifetime ago. But I'm also excited, I'm excited to see the, the different haunts. They have a lot of the same themed haunts as well as some originals, but they actually are different. They have the same, you know, the same movie, the same IP, but each park does it significantly different. So it's great to see um, how the different parks compare to each other. And just, it is one of the most wonderful events of the year. So please, follow me. But without further ado, let's head inside. See the spooky fog rising from this movie making fountain. Oh, there's chainsaws. Chainsaws already. Quick photo, guys. Take a quick photo. Don't scare me, don't scare me. Don't scare me. What? 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 No one wants to chase me with a chainsaw. Oh, there we go. Just look at this. The plumes of fire in the air. Two giant skeletons sitting on thrones. Whoa! Who is that? Oh, look at this skull-faced monster. Oh, out of the way, out of the way. Thank you! Oh, 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 better get out of the way. Something's coming, they're wheeling in. The Skull Lord. Oh! Hey there! Are you the Skull Lord? Yeah, yeah, he is. Jeez. I think something feels like something is occurring here. Skull Lord, Skull Lord, what are you doing? <laughs> Looks like we're gearing up here for the opening ceremonies. Welcome mortals to our realm of darkness. Be aware for 
your evil hath awakened from its slumber. Feast your eyes on our illustrious prince and princess, eager to devour your souls. And their court of phantoms, excited to die on their leftovers. Mock my words. You cannot escape our grasp. We can feel your fear. Prepare thyselves to confront thine inevitable fate. Because uh -oh. tonight, we feast on fear. Okay, so let's find us a haunt. We have, uh, right here, is a quiet place. So went through the quiet place maze in uh, in Florida. That's pretty real, very well done. Um, I see the first movie, but not the second. I think it's based on the two movies together. One thing people complained about was that I was yelling too much in the quiet place, that I didn't keep quiet. So this time when I go through, I'm gonna try really hard to keep quiet. This takes place in what used to be the old Walking Dead haunt that was actually uh, a year-round haunt for a while. She's got sign language. Oh, the toy alarm went off with the toy. No screams. the house here. There's noise coming from the corn. Is that John Krasinski? What's happening here? Oh my goodness. The present. Yes. There's Krasinski. amazing. Okay, try my best. I didn't scream. I don't think I screamed once. I think I held my screams in. But um, that's good. That was good. I'm trying to remember back the Florida one. I think this one had more of the large, like full-bodied animatronic creatures so that you could see a little clearer. So I think I would give the, the nod to the Hollywood version of this uh, particular haunt. I think next we're gonna check out Monstros 2 Nightmares of Latin America. Now Monstros 2, actually one of the haunts I was looking forward to the most tonight because last year they had Monstros 1 where they featured different legendary creatures, cryptids from Latin America. And then that haunt got moved to Florida this year. So Florida right now has Monstros 1, but they went ahead and made a sequel, Monstros 2, featuring new 
legendary creatures here in Hollywood. So excited to experience the sequel. I really loved this one last year. Really loved doing it again in Florida. Now I'm looking forward to the sequel. All right, as we enter, we see Death himself out in front. Who we have met before. Oh yeah, we have met before. We will meet again. What are these? What are, what's in these little bags? All right, this is El Charo. Oh, there he is, El Charo. He's terrifying. He's dressed like one of the three amigos. Oh, what's that horse? Oh, there he is again. Oh, it's all the money, all the money he steals. Beyond measure. theme of evil luchadors. Oh, what's that? That's a Frankenstein. That was a Frankenstein. Oh, what's that? See, that one was a zombie. A zombie luchador. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a wolfman luchador. <laughs> I certainly love this. Caged luchas. Oh! oh. Some sort of beetle. Oh! Oh, there's the Wolfman again. There's Frankenstein. Hey, Frankenstein! <laughs> Look at this. You got a wrestling match occurring here between this giant ogre and this skinny luchador here. Then the, the ref looks like some sort of leprechaun. That is pretty amazing. I definitely love to see this match play out. So they're like luchadors, they're like classic movie monsters. Like there's a zombie luchador. We saw the Frankenstein. Oh, I think that's the creature, creature from the Black Lagoon as a luchador. Creature! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's a tall luchador there. Oh, you can go for my hat? Yeah, this may be one of the greatest scare zones of all time. Hey, Frankie. <laughs> okay. What kind of 
sword in a wrestling match. That seems unfair. Look at this skeleton right here. It's like a street vending skeleton. Oh! Bienvenidos a todos. Are you hungry? Are you thirsty? Tienen hambre? Tienen sed? Están listos para ver algo de lucha libre? I have hot snacks and ice cold beer. Tenemos la cerveza más fría de la ciudad y máscaras de luchador de todos los colores y tamaños. We also have luchador masks in all sizes and colors. You know you want one. The it's going to be an exciting night, the, folks. For the, for the lucha are fight. still available ringside. Get your tickets at the ticket booth. Consigue sus entradas en la taquilla. Another ticket booth. We have the a full card of there. Lucha Libre matches tonight for the undercard. It will be a special four-way fight, and I guarantee that we blood on the canvas. She's blood the on the canvas. The first fight is a fight of four bands. I promise that there will be blood. The next is a lucha suicida for equipos. After that is a suicide tag team battle, and for the main event, a special cage match, a true fight to the death, an authentic lucha a muerte. Get your tickets now! Yeah, it's official. Greatest, greatest scare zone of all time. Isn't that right, Frankie? All right, from the Luchagor area, we enter into uh, this food and beverage area right here. Is that, is that La, 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 La Llorona? Oh my God. Dear. Oh, oh, she's terrified. <laughs> oh yeah, look at this. These towering, glowing skeletons here. These are pretty, pretty remarkable. Oh my goodness. Telling us the story of the life and death of Don Juan Bagoya. This section here, really cool, really beautiful. Look at these skulls here, peeking out. Oh my goodness. Good evening. You're not gonna lunge at me like that other lady over there, are you? <laughs> no, you're all oh, you're friendly. That's good. That's good. Now there is a new show this year taking place in the DreamWorks Theater. Yes, it is Late Night with Chucky. I guess uh, Chucky the Evil Doll hosting his own late night talk show. We definitely need to uh, definitely need to check this out. Here at the ticket booth, we got to buy our ticket from not Chucky, but another living doll, Mr. Pinocchio here. Wonder if Chucky will ever become a real boy. Now last year this is where the uh, the Megan show took place, which was super cool. So uh, yeah, looking forward to this one. See, <laughs> the scratched out nighttime talk show is then replaced with late night with Chucky. Think Chucky's scarier than Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> Hello! Hey, I'm Chucky right this late. Come on, it's like all the way down. We're gonna start here in just a moment. Well, all right. Oh wow, look at this. It's the entrance to the theater. Late night with Chucky. And there will not be a guest for tonight's show. Boo. No guest. This is your one chance to boo. 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 I know. I Chucky know. killed I know. the guest. I know. But don't need to worry. Because here at Late Night with Chucky, you know how to keep things moving because say it with me, if you don't, you if you don't, you die. You die. You die. You die. As you go inside all the way down right. to the very end of the world, with no seat left behind, no seat. all the blood left. out of this road right here. Remember that there was like a lot of blood right here and all that stuff. And we're gonna sit up here in the front row. Never mind, we'll just see there. what they say. Oh, take me. All right, we got some great seats here. Be able to see Chucky up close and personal. Well, there he is.
Thank you. That'll suffice. Why, hello there, Kyle. Why, hello there, Chucky. Chucky, you... Correct me if I'm wrong, but you seem to be in a really good mood today. Oh, you are right, I am. I got in a solid kill a few minutes ago. It was a nice little pick-me-up before the show. Oscar. Okay, I'm gonna call you Oscar. Alright, Chucky, this is Oscar. Hi, Oscar, how are you? I'm good, how are you, baby? How are you, Chucky? Alright, <laughs> relax. Uh, Oscar, are you having fun tonight? No. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. doesn't matter, we got your money. Alright, Oscar. <laughs> Oscar, you seem like you're someone who probably talks a little bit too much. <laughs> and apparently I'm right. Uh, so it would be homicidal poetry to shove my arm so far down your throat that you choke on your own tongue. And you know what, Oscar? I bet you would like it, too. Oh, okay! All right, Chucky, that's you know going I mean? Do you know what happens when I get annoyed? No, 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 Chucky, Chucky, that's a red wash that never ends well for anyone! It ends well for me. Thank you, dummies. It's been a pleasure talking about me. Be sure to watch Chucky, now streaming on Peacock. Wait, is this whole thing just been a promo? You're damn right it's been a promo. This has been Late Night with Chucky. Chucky. Signing off. <laughs> oh my god, Diane! Oh, what's happening? Diane, oh, I think he's skipping it. Oh, we got the pink ball. Oh! There's body parts. Building something massive over here. Looks like, okay, it's Fast and Furious ride. Hopefully it can be as good as the one in Florida. Oh, there's a giant crow monster hanging out in front of the uh, construction here. The scare zone, it's called Murder of Crows. And look at the baby crow here. He's absolutely just terrifying. Oh, hey baby crow. Looking around. Hungry. It's well here. It's full of crows. See the super spooky skeleton farmer. It's one of the tallest crows I've ever seen. Cut through Springfield here. Unfortunately, there is no there is no Simpson scares. This makes me sad though, over here in this uh, picnic area is an advertisement for the uh, tapped out mobile game. I've played this game for 12 years and they just announced, every day for 12 years I've played this game and they just announced they're shutting it down in, uh, in January. So my Springfield that I spent 12 years building is going away. They do play the uh, Treehouse of Horror theme though during the uh, during the event, but that's, that, that's about it when it comes to spookiness and The Simpsons. But I always do enjoy the uh, Terror Tram where they convert their daytime studio tour into a more terrifying experience. Oh, I do like this mural here of the tram tour at King Kong. The uh, Wild West Town from Nope. We're hopping in this tram. Welcome aboarding shortly. Remain seated, keeping your arms and legs inside the vehicle at all times. Or genre. The theme and of the name tram this year is going to be a Blumhouse. Blumhouse theme. The company the behind Blumhouse some of the most movie. frightening film until a stranger knocks at your door in the middle of the night or. A phone that just keeps ringing. Those gates open up off to your left. You are officially on your own. Watch your step when you exit. Oh, look at this. And good luck. There's Megan. Oh, we're getting swarmed by these Blumhouse monsters. Alright, 
heading into Megan's house here. I've been asking myself the same question. Oh, a nail gun. Oh, she's got nails in her face. Oh, no! <laughs> I didn't want you to see this. Are you listening oh, is she to me? cutting off someone's ear? Do you know what happens to bad boys? They grow up to be the first occupational hazard. Oh, she's got some sort of spray. <laughs> We're having to do a happy death day slash freaky. They have the terror tram laid out a little differently this year. We're coming up from behind the Bates Motel. Yeah, this is the Bates Motel. Oh, a baby face! Got a wine bottle shoved in his mouth. Oh, it sprayed it. Oh, this is the black phone, the creepiest of the Plumhouse movies. Well, there's the creepy child grabber. Oh! Oh, look at him slurking there. Oh, I do like his magician gear. Yeah, you can see the uh, Bates Motel sign. We're just in the actual Bates Motel. Oh, look at this. This is new. They have this bloody, bloody Hollywood sign. And of course, up here on the hill, overlooking the uh, Bates Motel, we have uh, Norman Bates' house. Hey, Norman! <laughs> and into The Purge. I've only seen the very first Purge movie. Uh-oh, are these construction workers? Are they going to, are they gonna purge us? You wouldn't purge me, would you? <laughs> yes, you would? Oh, no. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, look at the cars are covered with uh, this, uh, Christmas lights. Is it a purgy Christmas? Oh, this rabbit cut someone's head off. Why would a rabbit do such a thing? Oh my gosh. It's a teddy bear face. Yeah, this is a real plane wreck they have here. See the wing. Well, that's kind of cool. The lighting effects there. See the seats. Drive past system announcing the initiation of the purge. Oh, it's honest, Abe. Any and all including murder. Is that George Washington? What's in here? It's some sort of horse stick? Oh! Evil baby! It was just all the characters all at once. Oh, who's that guy? More chainsaws! <laughs> all right, it's a fun little mashup of all the Blumhouse movies. They're a little differently, laid out a little differently this year. We didn't get to go through uh, 
Jupiter's claim like we have in the previous years, but still a lot of fun. Okay, so we took the escalator down to the terror tram, then we took it back up to the upper lot. Now we're gonna take the escalator back down to the lower lot and we'll do the uh, haunts that are all down there at the bottom. And here on the platform between the two escalators, you can actually get a look at the uh, Fast and Furious ride. It looks to be some sort of roller coaster, so that might be interesting. See another piece of it over there, so I guess it's gonna go over the escalator here. And down we go. Now the ticket I have actually gets me into Super Nintendo World as well. I was here for the opening of Super Nintendo World. It was really exciting, got invited to come out for the opening. And uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see how uh, Super Nintendo World's doing. Oh my gosh, I've not, I've not been here at night before. It looks really good at night. And yeah, just one of the things I love is just being here, just being immersed, the immersive environment. It literally looks like you are in the 8-bit Nintendo game. Oh yeah, this is amazing. Yeah, everything's working great. All the different moving pieces look amazing. Now I don't have my power band, I left it at home. But I don't know, let's see if we can make this activate without the band. Hello, Princess Peach, how are you? Well, hello there. Hello. Oh, do you, oh, it's good, it's good seeing you again. It's been a while. <laughs> oh, welcome back, friend. Oh, how are you? <laughs> Always a pleasure to, 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 to see you, <laughs> Princess, Princess Peach. Oh, so fun. So as amazing as it is back here, we're not here for magical 8-bit dreamlands. We are here for horror. So let's head back into the horrors that await us in the rest of the park. Okay, so returning to the horror, we'll jump in head first with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the legacy of Leatherface. So my understanding is this is supposed to be an all-inclusive tribute to Leatherface. It's supposed to be all sorts of different versions of Leatherface in uh, in this haunt. So keep an eye out. See how many see how many Leatherfaces you can spot. It says Hooper and Henkel meet processing. Hooper probably refers to Toby Hooper, who was the director of the original movie. We are headed in to the meat processing plant. Oh, look at all these different leather face masks. Oh man, this got violent really fast. Oh, a headless chicken is moving. Oh, who are you? Oh! That was Leatherface. Oh, there's Grandpa. Oh, there's Chopped Up. Oh! Oh, careful, Chopped Up. What's happening here? Oh my gosh, look at this! Oh my god. Oh, I'm getting sprayed with human goo. Oh, 
What kind of a massacre is this? Looks like it's some sort of chainsaw-based massacre. Oh no, that's horrible! Oh, don't do that. Oh, gross. This really stinks in here. All this liquefied meat smells like urine. Oh no, that's Chop Top. That's Chop Top there. I mistakenly called the other guy Chop Top. That's Chop Top. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh man, it was smelly in there. But I think that adds, you know, adds to the, the griminess. Because you know, the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, a very grimy, smelly, dirty movie. And uh, so I did make a mistake in there. I corrected myself though. I th I called the hitchhiker Chop Top. Chop Top and the hitchhiker are uh, two different characters, two separate and distinct characters from one another. The first movie had the hitchhiker, and then the hitchhiker was deceased in the second movie. The Chop Top, who was another one of the brothers, Leatherface's other brother, he appeared in the second movie. He's the guy that scratches his head with a, with a wire hanger. Um, it, it's confusing because they both gotta play a similar role, but Chop, Chop Top is, uh, Chop Top's a lot of fun. The rancid smells and revolting violence of that haunt made me hungry, so I think we're gonna grab some Leatherface barbecue over here. All right, I went into this dark nook right here to eat my Leatherface barbecue. Got the uh, the ribs there, presumably made from human flesh. <laughs> and then uh, some, came with the baked beans and potato salad. All right, let's feast on these cannibalism-themed treats. Oh my goodness. Mm. That's actually really yummy. I like the barbecue sauce. Mm. That is delightful. Try some of the potato salad. It's really like chunky potato salad. Yeah, potato salad's interesting. That's like big chunks of potato with just a little bit of mayonnaise. Finish off some beans there. Yeah, definitely. Definitely some tasty barbecue. And with a belly full of barbecue, I am rejuvenated and ready to take on some more haunts. Next up, we have the Weekend Nightmare Trilogy. So last year, I really loved the Weekend Haunt based on the musical artist, The Weekend, who I really don't know that much about, but I was really impressed by just the bizarre imagery and imagination that was in the haunt last year. So I'm all up for a second dose of The Weekend. All right, headed in. Oh wow, look at this. You can see one of the weekend's personalities up there dancing and twirling. All right, headed in. What's going on? What's happening? Okay, we're in a back alley here. Oh, the paparazzi. Leave me alone, paparazzi. Going into an elevator. I have a, boot, a room full of money. Money wallpaper in the wall. Oh my god. Oh, who's that? There's a man made of money. Oh my god. Oh, who's that?
really cool so far. What is this? Arms reaching out of the wall. Oh my goodness. The weekend right there. Ah! <laughs> what is this? Electronic bloodbath there. Oh, that's weird. Who are you? Wasn't expecting that. What is occurring in here? Giant eyeball there. There's Medusa dancing in the wind. saw the Medusa with an eyeball head. Now we're in this eyeball hallway here. Oh wait, that was moving! <laughs> what is happening here? Oh my god, we're being sawed in half. Okay, more disembowelment. We didn't get enough of this in the chainsaw mate. <laughs> Got a hanging entrails. Oh, watch out. So I really, really loved that one. Um, just the creativity, the bizarreness, the absolute strangeness of everything going on in there. That's, that's at least just as good as, uh, as last year's. If not, maybe, maybe a little better. In addition to the haunt, there is a weekend nightmare bar as well. Oh, uh, look who's up here. It's, it's the weekend. Oh yeah, Helly, how are you doing? <laughs> it is time for our next haunt. We have Universal Monsters Eternal Bloodline. Now oh, they had this one in Florida as well. It's an all-female cast featuring uh, female versions of the Universal Monsters and a female version of, uh, of Van Helsing. This haunt is way out back. I don't remember them ever having a haunt back here before, at least as long as I've been going. Okay, this is interesting. It actually says, Stage 12, Birthplace of the Universal Monsters. So, uh, maybe some of the Universal Monsters movies actually filmed on this soundstage. I guess it is fitting that uh, this haunt would be on the same soundstage as the original Universal Monsters, given that it's an updated take I was given on those monsters. There's Van Helsing there. It means protector of mankind, body of light. Oh, what's that? It's the wolf woman. Oh, look at the little music box. Oh, look at this. Dracula's daughter. Oh, Wolf Woman! Ah, oh, the mummy! 
happy ending. There's Van Helsing's headless body. Oh, it's Frankenstein. Oh! I saw the OG Frankenstein. There he is! Principal Frankenstein. Okay, I think that one was a little different than the than the Florida version because in this version, the Van Helsing character, the uh, Van Helsing's daughter, she gets her head ripped off by Dracula's daughter. And the, one of the last scenes is her headless body laying there. And then uh, Frankenstein pops out, the, the, the man Frankenstein. Very interesting. A twist ending, I guess. Okay, now here is an original haunt, not based on any IP, just their own creativity. Dead exposure. Death Valley. Looks like maybe some sort of toxic zombie haunt. All right, we're headed into this facility here. It looks like some sort of van containing radioactive material has crashed into the building. And then we're gonna head inside and see what has happened. Oh no, the security guard looks like he's been murdered. And there's the front of the van. They're infected with something. Primate. Oh! <laughs> Primate research facility. Are we going to see monkeys? Oh, look at this glowing green goo here. Oh my gosh, it's evil chimpanzees. That's terrifying. Oh, what is happening here? The dissection of Oh, who's that? His face was terrifying. Someone's being vacuum sealed. Our bag. What happened to this guy here? Jail cells, dead bodies in them. storage. Oh yeah, it is cold in here. People frozen in the bags. Oh wow. Oh no, get out of my way. What is happening here? The green flame. Oh, I didn't think you were real. You are. Oh, some of these zombie freaks are real. Some are animatronics. Oh, here they come. <laughs> All right. Now, one thing I've noticed here tonight is been walking around the park is that their press penny machines all appear to be out of order, no longer operational. It is the year of the press penny, but unfortunately we're not gonna get any here at Universal Studios Hollywood. Right I think we're gonna grab another snack. I know Jen loved the uh, Stay Puft Marshmallow Man from, uh, from the uh, event in Florida, so I figured I'd grab one, uh, you know, for Jen. Okay, I've acquired my uh, Stay Puft Marshmallow S'mores. He's like laying on, oh, he's like laying on a little slab with a graham cracker, a slice of chocolate. And then, uh, so let's put this in uh, in my mouth. Okay. There we go, little guy. Yeah, pretty good. He's made of marshmallow. He's not really toasted. He's just kind of colored like you toasted, but still pretty good. It is time to head back up the giant escalator and uh, do the final haunts up on the uh, up on the top floor. At one point, they did have Death Eaters that would walk the streets 
of Hogsmeade here in the Harry Potter section. Uh, does not look like that is occurring this year. We walk out the back here of Hogsmeade to find our final two haunts. Okay, and here we have Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. So I was a big fan of the Ghostbusters haunt in Florida. The movie is based after, meh, take it or leave it. But the haunt in Florida was absolutely gorgeous. So I'm curious to see what they can do with it here in Hollywood. All right, we are headed into Ray's Occult Books. See the occult shop here. Podcast. Oh, All right, into the frozen party here. What in time? The fireman. Pickles there. Sewer in here. See the little state up man riding a rat. Oh! Who's even that guy? Ah, oh, the sewer dragon. Yeah, look at all the little state up men. Oh gosh! I don't even know who that was. Oh! Everything's frozen here. Okay, this is the, the firehouse, the Ghostbusters firehouse. It's just frozen. Most <laughs> of the desk here. Driven that into the Ecto one into the building. Now that was a fine looking haunt, but thinking back, I think the Florida version may have a little bit of an edge, just uh, some of the scenes a little more detailed, if I remember correctly. And then finally we have Insidious the Further. See this big spooky house here. Oh, there's like something up there in the, in the top window. Well, that's pretty creepy. Okay, headed into the spooky house here. A little, little mannequin climbing a ladder. Not sure. Yeah, what is with these mannequins here? Oh, what is that thing? It's happened to me. It was done to you. scared the crap out of me. Okay, that got me. Oh, now I don't like this very much. Oh, they move! He's got your baby. He's got your baby? Ah! She put her hand in front of my face! Someone was in the window there. You're in the baby's room. The baby's, the baby's crib. There was some... There's some freak in the window. There he is! He's back! 
here. Or something's getting Some closer to me. Creature in the corner. I feel like I'm getting closer to something. That thing's weird. Or something's getting closer to me. I feel like. Oh, that guy again! Ah. Dalton, The nomadic fanatic. Hanging out in California. It's been a while. It's been a while since we ran into each other. I think Tennessee. <laughs> Tennessee, all the way back. Yeah. yeah. So what? What have you liked so far? What? What haunts have you done? This is my first time doing them all. We got one more. We got the Frozen Empire, but I really, really did not like the smell that was in Texas Chainsaw. Yes. Oh, it smells like butt. I thought it. I thought it smelled like pee. <laughs> That's what I said. It's, it's not fun. It's not pleasant. It's supposed to be gore, but it like it whatever it is, it smells it smells gross. But the tram ride so far is my favorite thing. Oh yeah, I always love love the tram ride. That's just so much fun. This is your first your first, first horror night? I'm doing horror nights, yeah. Oh wow! So it's that's exciting. That's I exciting. That's I remember fun. my I remember my first time. <laughs> you do this every year, don't you? I do I do I do both coasts every year. I do awesome. Florida and then I fly out here. Heck so yeah man. It's good catching so you, up with you again, good man. Catching I appreciate up with you. it. Have awesome. fun. You take care and enjoy the remaining haunts. We'll do, you too. Good night, Crow. Good night, Skeleton Lord. Good night, Chainsaw Punks. So we have completed Halloween Horror Nights Hollywood, another year, another coast to coast <laughs> adventure completed. I try to do both, uh, both Florida and California Halloween Horror Nights every year. Um, one of my favorite events of the year. I just love seeing the artistry of the haunts, the uh, just the different ideas and creativity that I see in uh, in the events. Um, since yeah, I so said 2019, I uh, I came out here to Hollywood. Uh, to the Los Angeles area and really fell in love with just the Halloween events and Halloween culture in in this part of the country and I've made that part of my year um, every uh, every chance I've gotten um, so maybe next year probably next year we'll see what happens I'll try to do both coasts once again I um, uh, love the event tonight I'm trying to think what um, what my favorites were um, the uh, Monstros 2, definitely up there. I love learning 
about new cryptids. Most, you know, most of my knowledge of cryptids is focused on uh, the United States. So always fun to learn about cryptids that um, that uh, that I don't already know about. Of course, learning about them in a haunted house full of scares and things yelling in your face and things moving and trying to be 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 pushed through. Not the best learning environment, but I got a little taste of these monsters. I do think I'm going to go try to research um, some of the, the monsters featured in uh, in these haunts, because, yeah, I love cryptids, love uh, legendary creatures, that sort of thing, and some very interesting ones uh, presented in uh, in this haunt. Um, try to think, what else? What else? What else? Uh, Terror Tram was fun. The Blumhouse theme. Um... I do prefer when they, they, they do like have their own characters, their own unique uh, ideas. Um, last year they had the Larry Larva, which was a, was a unique character. And uh, they had a, a clown, I think Jack the Clown, um, in, the, in, the, in the past. So the Blown House is really fun. Um, but also I love, I, you know, I really love the, uh, the, the unique haunts the unique uh, concepts and unique ideas i think the the, the scare zone with the luchadors um was my probably my favorite scare zone probably coast to coast this year one of my favorite scare zones of uh of all time um so yeah a lot of fun um i think i'm trying to think i think i think i will go with uh with monstros 2 as uh, my favorite haunt of uh, of the evening, always just love you know that I think the IPs are great. I think the uh, you know it's like being immersed in that movie. If it's a movie you love or a movie you've seen, it's kind of like stepping into that movie. But I also really love the creative idea. Okay, now I, I'd say it's either Monstros or The Weekend because I just love how abstract and weird. That was. Those are probably my two favorite haunts of uh, of the evening. I think I, I get my. Like I said, I come out here, try to come out here every year. I think I've been getting my timeline mixed up. I think I was saying that the weekend had a haunt last year, and it seems like it was just last year. But I think that was actually two years, two years ago that the weekend had had uh, had their haunt. Man, time really has been flying for me recently. When I stay on the road and and travel and as I get older it seems like time just passes me by so fast but uh, yes every night until I leave on a plane I leave on a plane Monday um, every night between then and now I'm going to a haunted event here in Southern California so uh, really excited about that excited about doing the haunted circuit here in uh, here in Southern California and I hope you guys will come along with me. Um, if you do like these videos, I travel around the country, I film roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun, random stuff. If you'd like to help support the channel, consider Patreon. $3 or more gets you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop, as well as pressed pennies and stickers. And um, all those things, of course, help keep this haunted train on the track, this boat the damned in the water, and this dirigible from hell in the air. Until next time, my friends, this once in the bag.